The Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. stood for equality for all. Many United Methodists valued his vision and his leadership. The Reverend James Lawson described King's impact on him and others. I saw Martin King as the Moses of the last half of the 20th century. It is said that uh, Martin King embodied love. He was the word of love made flesh, and I think that that's very true. Martin, you uh, were a greater instrument of the purpose of God and the word of God for my life personally and for our world. I marveled then at the way in which you were able to frame the questions of faith and justice and nonviolence and love and truth. It is too bad that many people relegate you to uh, civil rights and not to theologian, pastor, a profoundly called man who found his life turned upside down by God's call. I saw him twice on April the 4th, the day he was assassinated. What was left unsaid on that day perhaps might have been how much I appreciated his life and his leadership and to the extent to which I understood that to be indeed a carrying of the cross that very few people recognized or understood. One of the heritages of the 50s and 60s and 70s is that we have more Americans today who are really very much aware that our society is not the best that it can be, that the schizophrenia between our claim to be democratic and then some of the issues like sexism and racism, economic exploitation and opportunity, that that split still goes on. Love and truth and compassion still are the only ways by which we human beings can create the kind of nation or world that we deeply uh, hunger for. This video was brought to you by the people of the United Methodist Church through world service donations.